Welcome back to your studies on fiction writing. I'm Kenny Noble, your instructor, and today we're going to be looking at the basics of character arc. Character arc is one of the most important elements in fiction writing, and yet I'd say that many people that write fiction do not have a complete understanding of the character arc. Simply put, character arc is the internal transformation of the character from beginning to end. In other words, the character starts out as one type of person, but because of the experiences that they face throughout the story, they're changed and they wind up as a different person at the end. In good stories, a character has an inner struggle that reflects their outer struggle throughout the story. A simple example might be a love story where the protagonist throughout the story is constantly sabotaging the relationship. The inner struggle of the character is them fighting psychologically within themselves, trying to learn how to open up and love someone. So this internal struggle that the character has throughout the story as they grow and evolve, that is the character arc. An example of the character arc is in the novel The Christmas Carol, where Ebenezer Scrooge starts out as a very selfish and self-centered person, yet by the end he learns to become generous. So that journey he takes from the beginning of the story to the end is actually the character arc. So this character arc or transformational arc tracks the protagonist's inner struggle at the beginning until they rise to the external challenges of overcoming these internal barriers inside the person. The main plot carries the line of action, whereas this internal arc carries the emotional and thematic content. In many ways, the main character has this survival system that they've grown into, that they've developed to help them survive situations in life. Perhaps they're wounded, uh, using the example of a love relationship, perhaps the main character has been wounded by failed love in the past and their wound is never healed and so in order to survive they develop this armor that protects them from falling in love again and that's their survival system but at the beginning of the novel this survival system has outlived its usefulness and the character is going to have to get rid of some of that armor and change in order to reach the story goal at the end but at the outset, the character doesn't realize this. Perhaps the reader understands this, but the character doesn't realize that they have this flaw. And the process of the story is the character overcoming that flaw and growing as a new person. Having this character arc in your story is what's going to make the difference between your story just being a series of events or being a compelling human story. So the character starts out at the beginning of the story as an imperfect protagonist, but they begin to make internal psychological changes and thus mature throughout the story. Of course, we need to understand as writers that the story will be richer if the protagonist is not perfect, and by the end of the story, he or she still cannot do everything right. Huckleberry Finn is not the same person at the end of the story as he was at the beginning. The experiences that he encountered during the story changed him. Yet at the end, he still has flaws. He's, he isn't perfect at all, but he's grown as a person. So to break this idea down visually, in Act 1 or in the beginning, the main character is faced with an external problem that they have to overcome. They cannot overcome that problem unless they change. But oftentimes the main character or the protagonist doesn't know that they need to change or at least they won't accept that they need to change. So as they go into Act 2, the first part of Act 2, they try to solve the problem using the old means that they used before, but they can't solve the problem. So they're in this period of exhaustion and this period of unknowing where they don't know that they really need to change or they don't fully understand that they need to change, and they're in this period of exhaustion. In the middle of Act 2, something often happens that they receive this moment of grace. A friend or a loved one or perhaps their mentor approaches them and gives them advice that you really need to change. This is who you are. This is the problem you have. And they get a glimpse of that. And then through the rest of Act 2, they now know that they have this problem and they struggle to overcome. So they accept 
that this is a flaw they have and they need to change and they struggle to overcome it. Then by act three, they're faced with this dark moment or this leap of faith when they finally have to make this big leap with the problem and once and for all face that problem. And by the end, then they become a changed person, a new person. Naturally, there are stories where the main character doesn't change, and that's a tragedy. For example, in Romeo and Juliet, it ends in such a tragedy because neither person grew enough to recognize their real problem. Even in the old story, Cinderella, at the outset, Cinderella accepts her oppression and bows under it. But as the story progresses, Cinderella becomes less passive and more active and begins to change her situation because first she began to change who she was inside. And she puts on the new dress and risks going to the ball and uh, steps outside her little box. And that stepping outside the box and changing causes her to have a happy ending. So that concludes our study on character arc. There's much, much more that could be said about character arc, but I think that will give the student an idea what we mean by character arc. So I hope this has done you some good. Hope there's some ideas here that you can apply to your own story. And perhaps I'll see you in another lecture. <laughs>